Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Tracy's Florida Homestead. Today is July 15th, um, 2024, and we're here with my niece, Raven Renee, and we wanted to do a part two to the uh, pink pineapple video. You will have to excuse the way I look. I have just spent a few hours in the yard, and it is hot here in Florida. Um, besides, it's supposed to rain here in about an hour, which makes the humidity shoot up to about 200%. So it's a little hot outside, so we decided to do this inside where the air conditioner is. And so today, we are uh, transplanting the baby pups that was on the pink pineapple um, that we had picked last week and uh, videoed the taste test. Now, the one you see behind me here is one of my... Um, uh, yellow pineapples, a standard yellow golden pineapple. Um, it about fell off the plant yesterday, last night, so I just went ahead and brought it in and it's ripening up real nice. This will be the second year that plant produced. Like I said, they can produce three to seven years. So, and since she's the smallest one I've ever had to pick from that plant, I'm taking it, it with because of the rainy season and it just got too ripe too quick. It has rained a lot here um, in the last 30 days, and it's caused the humidity to not kill us. Hence the half-wet hair. That's why I don't have it put up so it can dry. So today we're going to take the five pups that were on the pink pineapple plant. And you will, uh, in the uh, comments or in the embed of the video, you will see... Um, where I've taken a couple of pictures of where they were on the plant and where the plant cone is dying so they have to be removed no matter the size. Um, this cone that comes out of your pineapple plant, that is the part that will die back every year, not the whole pineapple plant. I've read a couple of comments in some other people's um, videos that says, well, a plant will only produce one year before it dies. No, it will only produce one plant per year up to seven years and then it dies the cone in the middle the stalk that the pineapple grows up on is what dies every year okay so as you can see we got three con uh, five containers here because we have five pups that were surrounding the stem so we went ahead and i um got some really good compost soil i'll let you see what i'm talking about it's got compost um and leaves um chunks of wood and it's really dark soil. I've used this. This is probably the bottom of my compost pile, which is really good because the worms have been in there. You don't want it real wet, though. As you see, this is really, like, dry. Um, I've let it dry out a little bit before I put it in the cups because with pineapples, you don't want it to be real wet. Show them that cup. And just so you can tell that I am a recycler. I'm, I'm a naturalist. I recycle okay so when I eat something like this which is very rare why is why I only got two and I run out of little containers like this for transplant all you have to do is show them the two little holes on the side poke a little hole on each side so it drains these make perfect containers um, when they start to fall apart you just recycle them and you recycle okay um, so you may see a lot of my transplants and things like that um, I do recycle and um, I don't like to waste money so if it's something that can be reused to plant something in I do just like the three and a half gallon buckets that I have here that we um, got icing in when I worked at Winn-Dixie drill a couple of holes in here you got a perfect container for a patio plant and then you also have a handle so you can move it around all right think smart not hard okay um, work smart not hard too uh, so conserve your money if you've got stuff that you're not using things outside the box plant something in it It makes beautiful planters. I've seen people plant stuff in old cowboy boots That was freaking awesome. I thought it was so cute. It's cute. You got to see it man And sometimes yeah. they'll paint it up too. Okay, yeah, so like... today we're gonna start with the babies The babies the two smallest we have are these two here Okay, let's you want to show them go ahead and walk it up to the camera and show them I'm training Ray Ray Okay, um, so she can help me with videos. That's good. They can see them. All right, so they're going to go in the styrofoam cups. Okay, um, the reason being is that these kind of cups are plastic and they will get hotter quicker. And I don't want these babies to get burnt. 
So what we're going to do is, oh, is that, that's what I forgot. Hang on just a minute. Let me get a boom. Let me get a boom. A boom. And ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that I try to make my videos as real as possible. I don't do no editing. I don't go and put up on a lot of makeup and dress up in a dress and high heels to do a guarding video, okay? If I was going out to do a food review, yeah, I'm going to get dressed up. But when I'm working in this heat in the dirt, no, baby. Y'all going to see me all natural and probably raving too, okay? I know I'm old, all right? That's fine. Don't look at me, just listen to me, all right? So we're going to take the spoon and we're just going to press us a hole in here. Try to get the leaves out of the way. And the reason that I leave the leaves in there, and a lot of people don't understand, is that when it rains and it gets real wet, the leaves will float to the top, and they will make a like a layer of um, um, uh, mulch on top, and it will keep the the ground from drying out too fast. Okay, so we're going to give Ray. All right, you ready? So this is the part you want to bury, and you want to bury it just like we did with the top on the other pineapple when I cut it off. This part here. You want to bury as much of the yellow as you can up to the greenery. So uh -huh. what we're going to do is we're going to push this down in there to probably about the second row of spikes. Okay. And then I'm going to push it down in there. And then we're just going to take the soil and we're going to push it around and make sure it's in there really good and tight and straight so it don't fall over. But if it does fall over, you can always pick it back up because... Pineapples get so heavy they tend to fall over anyway. If you're not careful. No. Well, no, that was because of the way it was laying in the sun. It had to move around my plumera to get to the sun. That's why this is bent. Um, okay, so now we're going to finish the rest of them. Like I said, we have five. And these, like I said before, are the pink pineapple. Remember I told you I wouldn't get rid of the crown? The reason I didn't get rid of the crown is the crown is already two years old. Okay, it comes from a two-year-old mature plant. Its properties of producing, when it gets ready to produce, are going to be doubled because I got it off of a two-year-old plant that was producing. Um, so the genetics are strong in that top, just like the genetics are strong in this one because this would be third generation. Um, I'm a believer in, in recycling, so why would I give up? my my plant tops and go spend a, uh, a lot of money to buy more um just reuse what you got it's going to take two years anyway i need to wash my hair look at it <laughs> see, pe people see me as i am but hang on a minute and i'll let you have it for mm. being impatient well i am well i'm sorry but you know that's a virtue patience is a virtue says the lord all right you have to learn to be patient sometimes because you can, God didn't build the world in one day. Mm -hmm. What makes you think you can get that plant done in five seconds? Yes, that's right. I'm old school mom. Okay. If your friends was going to jump off a bridge, would you do it too? How about the stupid woman that jumped in the polar bear cage the other day? <sighs> I mean, okay, there's number three. Let's go ahead and just put these right here where everybody can see them. Do you want to do the last one? Uh, can you? Yes, I can. Now, considering this one is a little bit... Oh, sorry. Blah. Bent, okay. Blah. We're going to put this one in at an angle so it grows up straight. Okay, there we go. And we're going to shove some soil around it. Now, normally you would want to, depending on how dry the soil is, you would want to water it a little bit. But for, to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to. Um, I'm going to let this soil dry out a little bit. Like I said, it's been raining here every day for like the last three weeks. So everything is a little bit more damp than it needs to be. Um, so they look great. They look great. So now you see I've got five brand new pink pineapple plants. If I decide to keep these, it will take two to three years for them to produce. And that's fine because by the time they're starting producing, my bigger plants are going to start slowing down or the fruit is going to start getting smaller because of the age. Um, so I will have 
plenty of backup. Um, that makes six plants. So if I do this once every two years, maybe three years, take all my pups and keep them myself and then have a patch ready for them. So by the time that the adult plants that I've got now are ready to go skedaddle, I will have a whole new batch ready to go. Um, and then you're also keeping it in the same genetics. Um, first generation, second generation, third generation. Um, and the further down the generation you go, the better the DNA on a plant, and the better the plant will produce, and the better the sweetness and the taste of the fruit. So I hope you have enjoyed sitting here with us with our pink pineapple plant. And just to let you know, the soil on a pineapple plant is kind of like a cactus. You don't want to keep the feet wet. They don't like wet feet. So um, well-drained soil, um, something that dries out real quickly, light soil. Um, I had some trouble with one of my dragon fruits because of that. I had put muck soil in there and that was the worst thing. Excuse me. <coughs> but um, we thank you for stopping by. Do you have any of that stain left? No. Oh yeah, I'll show you a sheet. Yes. Right, let me show you my voodoo child dragon fruit it finally produced one now i've ate half of it so don't look don't look at it that good but this is <coughs> a voodoo child dragon fruit okay it has a grape taste okay still has the black seeds it's about the size of your palm single sir it may be small due to the first year but look at that that's awesome <coughs> excuse me i'm just getting over a cold so you'll have to excuse me that's why i don't sometimes i don't make many videos during the rainy season because i get some colds very quickly well i'm not cold summer cold chest baby that's ones that you can work with but you still feel like crap okay <laughs> she's young to learn. well thank you for stopping by we hope uh we have entertained you at least a little bit today and um if you would like one of these pups let me know um you can put it in the comments on the video and we will see how we can get one to you all right like i said i've only got five here um and um, if I get rid of any, it will probably be the three biggest ones and keep the two small ones for myself. So if you would like one, just let me know in the comments and we will find a way to get that shipped to you. Um, have a great day. All right. All right, now what's going on with this? Oh, my God. I know it.